Hey, 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 people. I honestly forgot that the game started. It, it was a much earlier kickoff than usual. Damn. Anyways, well, welcome to the stream, people. It's actually already one nothing. Uh, digging them in Redbridge. A huge upset potentially on the cards in this one. My God. Um, I'm about to, you know, turn on my TV and, and get into it. But apparently this game started at at 210. I had no idea, to be honest with you. Oops. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Non-league. Um, Dagenham and Redbridge have taken a shocking, absolutely shocking 1-0 lead over uh, Gillingham. So, oh, that's a great, oh, top of the box, shoveled it off, ball into the box, scruffy goal, but oh, wow, absolutely class. Just, yeah, cross in, got deflected, good hold up play. Wow, and digging them in Redbridge up one nil, but yeah, um, sorry about that, people. Jesus, <laughs> I I genuinely had no idea, no idea that the game didn't start at two forty five. <clears throat> I thought it would have. Excuse me, but yeah, welcome to the um, welcome to the channel, people. Um, I'm Steve, and I'll be uh, taking you through it. But yeah, we're twenty minutes in already, and digging them are on the attack again. Robinson was the goal scorer, by the way. Yeah, crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, welcome. You know, welcome to the, to the video. Make sure to leave a like button and get your comments in. Um, to be honest, I don't know much about digging them in Redbridge or jilling them, but you know, these the, 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 this is this is the beauty of the FA Cup. This is the beauty of the FA Cup, people. Um, you know, non-league sides competing with league sides, causing just absolute mad upsets. It's uh it's beautiful to see. Absolutely beautiful to see. So, um, yeah, no. Um, we've already got an intriguing one. Yeah, Matt Robinson with the goal for uh, digging them in Redbridge. Let's see if they can hold on to it. The odds right now, um, digging them in Redbridge are only slight favorites, actually, at minus 138. I'm not sure what that is in English odds, but essentially, if you put down 20 bucks, you'd win about nine so you'd get return about nine something bucks but um yeah newcastle fan from southern england here uh gillingham are my local efl team so go to <laughs> so go to watch them a fair bit they're terrible fair enough uh joseph bro who are who who are the players on gillingham that aren't so terrible the least terrible the ones that might be half decent for the league Oop. jesus let me know, Joseph. Let me know. But anyways, I'll read off the lineups uh, real quick. Gillingham will line up in a 4-2-3-1. Jake Turner in goal. Uh, will Wright at right back. Max Emmer. Uh, Elkin Baggett. David T uh, Tutonda. Uh, they are the back four. Sean Williams and Dom Jeffries are the two uh, uh, holding midfielders. Jordan Green, uh, Hakib uh, um, Adelikon, and Ben Reeves off the left. Lewis Walker is the lone striker. As for Dagenham and Redbridge, um, three one four two. That's a three, yeah, three one four two. Uh, Elliot Justin goal, Josh Hare, Manny Onarayes, might have really mispronounced that. Harry Phillips, uh, Dean Rance, um, midfield four of Miles Weston, Matt Robinson, Mo Sagaf. And Elliot Jackson, and then Josh Walker and Junior Marias, not the not the Shakhtar Brazilian Junior Marias. It's spelled different, but yeah, fair enough. Uh, Joseph stayed. Um, Jordan Green of Gillingham has a bit about him. Fair enough. Hey, Bonnie, oh, what's going on, Lee? What's good, man? Um, but yeah, big um, thanks to the five people watching. Just make sure to smash the like button um, on both of them because I'm doing a dual stream on Strasbourg, Steve, and on Newcastle Fans TV Extra. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Joseph. To be honest, Gillingham looked not that great. I mean, the, I just saw the possession stat. My word, 35% percentage for Gillingham. Christ. Miles Weston gets a foul. Yeah, Gillingham looked terrible. My God. 
Yeah, I think we're on for a cup set today, boys. Seriously. Will Wright used to play for Dagenham until uh, Gillingham bought him at the start of this season. Um, most of the Gillingham team are freebies, <laughs> loans, and rejects from other teams. Fair enough. Yeah. Not nah, Gillingham looking. They're, they're, they're looking in some rough shape. Uh, Joseph, do you know where Dagenham and Redbridge are, like, located? I got, I, honestly, I got no clue. I've heard of them before, and I, I think it's a London side, or somewhere close to London. I could be totally wrong, though. It could be of northern east. Who, who, who fucking knows? I sure don't. Joeing, I'm trying to get on the attack, and it's... Oh, cross easily dealt with by, uh, looks like Manny all right, on a rice. Bro, I'm such an idiot. How the hell did I not realize that this game started way earlier than this? Jesus. What did you think of it? <clears throat> Sorry. <sighs> Lee, what did you think? Uh, Lee Leyland, um, nice seeing you around these parts. What did you think of the Newcastle game, the first silverware of many? I thought we demolished them second half especially. We seem to have a knack, a knack of that. Second half, we just absolutely destroy our opponents most of the time. So that's a nice habit to get into. You want to start off very, very strong. So I'm quite happy with that. Yes. And that's the first silverware of, of uh, most likely a lot, lot more. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about that, man. Good stuff. Uh, just a friendly, not going to get too excited, but Miggy Almiron, you know, absolutely sensational form. So yeah, I'm um, pretty excited. Gillingham have also only scored, I think, six league goals all season. Dagenham and Redbridge is also is basically far east London, really close to the Essex border. The closest big team to them would be West Ham. Okay, fair. That's what I thought. I thought Dagenham and Redbridge were kind of London-ish. And I think Gillingham are the same thing, kind of um, London area-ish. The attendance, by the way, for Gillingham. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know the two stands on the opposite ends. They're not going to be full or anything. Fucking hell. That's not good, man. <laughs> the ball in. Dealt with. Looks like Baggett dealt with that. The uh, center, uh, left center back for Gillingham. Ah, oh, what? That's not a foul there. Uh, what's up, Sebastian? Uh, hello, Steve. I was thinking if we can do a quarterfinal predictions today. Yeah, I don't see why not. I'll let you know, Sebastian, bro. Gillingham have only also scored three, or sorry, yeah, six league goals. Yeah, I read that one. That's right. Uh, let me look that up. You might be onto something there. Um, yes. Looks like in League Two, Gillingham uh, have scored. They got. Oh, that's that's an FA Cup game. Never mind. Ooh, yeah, they they ain't scoring much. They ain't scoring much at all. Uh, oof. so last time they even scored a league goal was um looks like October twenty second in um in League Two, and surprise surprise they are bottom of League Two. Uh, Gillingham are a team from Kent, the only EFL team in the county. Oh, wow. That stand on the left of the frame was a, temp a temporary built stand about 15 years ago, and it's made from scaffolding. Okay, fair enough. Right. Right, right, right. All right. Thank you, Joseph, for the info. Nice stuff. Yeah, Kent. I don't hear many teams about uh, Kent. I, I, honestly, the Kent representation might go out. Because it looks like Jill Jillingham are utter shite in League 2. Bottom. Bottom of League 2. Fuck me, Harrogate. That's not bad. Harrogate Town. Obviously a northern side. 
Yeah, it looks like Leighton Orient might get promoted to League One. Stevenage is in there. AFC Barrow, Northampton, Carlisle, Bradford, Mansfield in the mix. Same thing as Salford City. But yeah, that relegation battle. Gillingham, Hartlepool, which is also a northern side, I believe. Colchester United, Rochdale. Ooh, that's not good either. Harrogate Town, Crawley, Newport County. God damn. How, the fuck, how did Gillingham beat Brentford? That's that's absolute madness. But anyway, and they they're getting thoroughly outplayed by Dagenham and Redbridge, who I believe have had a decent season in the National League, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check that out. Yeah, it is still one 0 People, make sure to hit the likes. Hit the likes up. Joseph Steed, when Gillingham first formed, they played in black and white stripes under the name New Brompton. They had a 125 anniversary black and white shirt. That was fire. Ooh, I'll have to look that up then. I'm a huge kit. I'm absolutely obsessed with football kits. Absolutely obsessed. Um, I'll collect almost anything. I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any, I don't want no mess shirts. I don't want no Roma shirts, Sunderland, Celtic. Um, any other team I'll collect their shirt or, you know, wear it or I don't give a fuck. I'm just obsessed with football kids. It's a goal for Gillingham. It's a header from the center back and it's one, one and Gillingham have some life somehow. Not great marking there. If I'm honest from, um, from Dagenham and Redbridge. Elkin Baggett with the goal. And Gillingham fans look kind of not really at all excited, actually. <laughs> Good service in there. Baggett just, yeah, beats out the goalkeeper on that. Nice hatter. It's one apiece, people. One apiece. Good, good, good. Not to update the fucking score. All right. There you go, Gillingham. There you fucking go. Rather see Dagenham and Redbridge win, but it is what it is. I don't really care. I like a cup set. I like a cup set. Absolutely do. Yeah, you just got the thing is, man. You gotta you gotta defend better than that. You're the goalkeeper. Get your hands on that thing. Come on, man. Come on. You're better than that. You're better than that. Hey, Joseph, has uh, Gillingham ever been a like a league a championship side? I'm pretty sure they have. I could be wrong, though. I'm pretty sure Gillingham have been in the championship maybe once or twice. Gillingham trying to put the pressure on in this. Kiefer... The key for Dagenham is Dagenham and Redbridge is just don't, you know, don't let the goal affect you too much, you know. It is what it is. It happened, but you know, you gotta you gotta just move along. You gotta keep it moving. But it looks like there will be a foul. Um Yeah, it looks like Harry Phillips or Phipps, sorry, fouled um, Lewis Walker there in a free kick for Gillingham. Way outside of the box, though. Um, you'd think they're just going to play it in. Yeah, the Gillingham shirts look nice. I like black and blue. It's really, really simple. Nice kits. Yeah. What's the 125th anniversary one look like? Yeah, the Macron shirts that Gillingham have, they look pretty nice. Not going to lie. It looks like uh, Lewis Walker, is he's got a bloody nose. Oh, damn. Jeez. Getting stuck in. Harry Phipps. Um, 
Hey, BX Gunner 81. What's up, man? Uh, first person I ever played online with was from Dagenham. PS2 FIFA 05. Oh, that's sick. How the hell do you remember that? That's mad. How the fuck do you remember that? Remember what happened? I can't. I can't even remember what happened yesterday. Jesus. Oh, there you go, man. Cross in blocked. Well, corner now. Goal kick for Dagenham and Redbridge for D for DNR. Uh, but yeah, interesting. Takes the goal kick. Dagenham and Redbridge do it. Make sure to smash those likes, people. Make sure to smash the likes. Um, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. I do a bunch of random videos about, you know, different football around the world. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it anything, man. So yeah, make sure to just keep it posted here on Newcastle fans TV and, um, and Strasbourg Steve. So yeah, and you get your comments in. The highest the gills got the highest gills got was in the championship early two thousands. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I, I remember because he was growing weed and had guns and <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> what a way to relate, I guess. Fucking hey, man. There you go, BX Gunner. Whatever floats your boat. You know what I'm saying, bro? Damn. He had guns in London, bro. Probably, bro probably got in trouble. Nice run here. Digging him in Redbridge in the box. He's looking for someone to pass off to. Finds Robinson. Cross in. Deflected. It'll be a corner, it looks like, for digging him. Redbridge. That a boy. Yeah, good play from uh fucking <laughs> Christ, man. Some of you people are whack. Man said he had weed growing weed and guns in London. God damn. Unreal. People are wild. Yeah, corner is coming in from Dagenham and Redbridge. Corner, nothing. Yeah, that'll be easily a goal kick for Gillingham. I forget who Gillingham... I, I, the, the winner of this game, I forget who they play in the next round. Um, I'll have to look that up. It'll be pretty easy to find, though. True story. Yeah, let's see. FA Cup second round, Friday, January 6th. It's Manchester United. Everton. Yeah, who the fuck do? Ah, Dagenham. Uh, so the winner of this will host. Um, yes, Joseph. Yeah, you said it. You said it right. Stole the words right out of my mouth. Big up, bro. Thank you. Yeah, the winner gets Leicester City at home. And given Leicester City have actually improved a lot, I would suspect that they would probably, both of these teams would probably lose to Leicester, but that's why we play the games, people. Sharing pictures and videos through the PS2, I was blown away. He was also a gooner. That's that's crazy. That's crazy, BX Gunner. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Joing, I'm trying to get a ball in the box. It finds the feet, and it's absolutely skied over. Um, skied over the bar. Um, by uh, what's his name? Miles Weston, I believe. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine, uh, Joseph. I, I I love the common interaction. Absolutely, you're fine. You're fine. Um, 
Yeah, but the yeah, the son of Robert Lee, Ollie Lee plays for Gillingham. I had no idea. Great fact, actually. I did not know that at all. Class. I did not know that. I did not know that. I'll have to let my, my, my people know. Is this game on ESPN Plus? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, BX Gunner. Digging him on the attack. Nice nifty moves there. Miles Weston in. Cross, nothing there. And is claimed easily by Jake Turner, the Gillingham keeper. That's a cool fact, though, man. I had no idea. Yeah, like I said. I'm assuming that his son might not be that great of, uh, 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 you know, not, not as good as his father because, God damn, on the bench for Gillingham against Dagenham and Redbridge, you'd think that you're good enough to start, but maybe not, man. Oh, my God, on live score, they've got the average player rating of Gillingham. I'm not even kidding you. Right now it says 666. Oh, that's blurry as hell. Oh, my Lord. This team is demonic. Wow. That's fucking crazy. A little creepy, but move on. Gotta say, those both both these teams got some nice kits. I will say that as well. But digging them in Redbridge, getting a Nike sponsor. That's kind of sick. Fucking hell. Dead men have seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Digging them, trying to play some nice football here. Dean Rance. Over to Manny on a rice. Back to Elliot Justum. Phipps wins it in midfield. Sloppy pass over, easily claimed by Gillingham's defense. Sean Williams looking for someone. Decent pass, but completely under hit. Played out by Dagnum. Nothing there. Be a throw in for Gillingham. Got eight minutes left, people, in the first half. Eight minutes. So, yeah. Let's see if any of these teams can come up with a late surprise. Go, uh, sorry, referee says that's out of play. <laughs> any other comments that I missed? Okay. Okay, you got quite a few. It's pretty nice. Yeah, keep getting your comments down below, people. It could be English football related, FA Cup related. Uh, you could tell me about Dagenham and Redbridge or Gillingham if you got any interesting facts about it. Um, yeah. BX Gunner, I've been hurting not not being able to buy any kids for merch lately. Paying off bills and taking care of Christmas. Yeah, same here, bro. Got a link on a 94 Arsenal home long sleeve. Hopefully it's still available in two weeks. Yeah, absolutely, man. No, I probably should be. Ooh, digging him on the attack. Good defense, though, Gillingham. Yeah, Gillingham seem like a side that are much better defensively than off of the fucking horrible trying to attack. Here's Marias. Plays it over to Matt Robinson. Back to Robinson. 
Robinson looking. Gets it to Elliot Johnson. Over to Josh Hare, center back coming up. Josh Hare. Over to Josh Walker. This is Miles Weston. Over to Hare. Hare to Weston. Trying to make some interplay there. Good strength. That should be a foul. How is that not a foul? Ali Lee is okay. He used to play for my Scottish team, Heart of Mid uh, Mid of Midlothian. And had a wicked chant. Ron's uh Rob's other son, Elliot Lee, is playing at uh Wrexham. Yes, he is. Yes. I didn't even know that he okay, so he has two sons playing football. That's pretty cool. Nice. Um what am I doing here? There we go. All right. <clears throat> Some fruit snacks up, up in here. Here's Reeves. Over to Will Wright. Plays it back to the goalkeeper, Jake Turner. Emmer over to. Looks like Elliot Baggett. Oh, wow. He's playing at right back right now. Five minutes left, people. Five minutes. Make sure you hit the likes, as usual. Subscribe and all that. And big up to uh, Joseph in the comments. I see you, man. Nice uh, conversing with you. So, Joseph, you live in Kent, I assume? Because that's where Gillingham are. I think you said they're in your local club or something. Easily claimed there, by the way, from the uh, Dagenham and Redbridge keeper, Elliot Justin. These teams really like fucking holding on to each other. Like literally grabbing and shoving them back. Jesus Christ. Throw in from... Uh, Elkin Baggett, long ball up the top, dealt with by Manny on a rice. As Dignam looked to transition here, long ball over, nothing. Cleared it. I like in these small stadiums how tight the camera is. It's like it turns. It's uh, it's so funny. And you got the big ass Premier League, league on La Liga stadiums, all these big ass stadiums where the the ball, it just goes um, fucking crazy. Got a tiny ass stadium like uh, Gillingham. Well, actually, that's a decent sized stadium. Mm, kind of reminds me of. Uh, kind of reminds me actually of Genoa and Sampdoria Stadium with the with the blocks on each side. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, Joseph, I live in Kent, um, but I've supported Newcastle since 96. There you go. We have an okay non-league scene here, but the only other EFL uh, team we've ever had was Maidstone United, who then went bust. Ah, I recognize that name, Maidstone. Fair enough, Joseph. Are you from Newcastle or have you always lived in Kent? I'm assuming Newcastle won you over as a neutral. If you've always lived in here, maybe you have family or something. Tell, tell me your brief story. Always interested in that. It's a corner for Jill, uh, Dagenham and Redbridge.
Ball up. Junior Marais who tries to get on the end of it, but good defending. Reeves trying to clear it out. Cover Baggett. Lewis Walker coming way back to get the ball back up. Here's David Tatanda. Sit over to um, Max Emmer. Three minutes of additional time, by the way, people. Three minutes. Nice old dummy there, but didn't result in anything. Oh, very sloppy touch. Dagnum looked to capitalize off it. Here's Elliot Johnson trying to drive in the box. Nothing there. Here's Dean Rance. Over to Elliot Johnson. Johnson finds, I believe, Junior Marais, who fucking menace, man. Ooh. Second half. Josh Herring shot on goal, and Jake Turner deals with it. He actually does a good... Good shot, to be honest. I saw the gap in between, too. Good stuff there. Yeah, hey, I like some pop from distance. And you know what? I've seen Premier League, Champions League, any of these big-time players, when they hit that shot, bro, it, don't, it, it goes way over the net. So it was actually not that bad. Used to live on the southeast London Kent borders. Uh, nearest team was Charlton Athletic, but knew at the age of six a year was God and never looked back. Hey, that's good stuff, Joseph. I like it. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Um, really nice story. Oh, good stuff there. Dagenham, good defense, though. Blocked and cleared out. Dagenham, honestly, from what I've seen, they've looked, they've been the better side uh, for the most part, control more of the ball. Um, Gillingham just look like they want to set up defensively. Why does the goalkeeper stand? Bro, what if someone has a pop? Exactly, just like that. Nearly in from, from Dagenham, but I believe the ball came off of Matt Robinson's chest. No, it didn't. It go to, It's going out for... Um, a corner for Dagenham and Rutledge. Good ball in there from it looks like Miles Weston. Yeah, and the brilliant defense to be uh, fair from uh, Dom Jeffries. Corner in. Rance will get the throw in. Dean Rance, uh, CDM for Dagenham. And that's it. That's. Um, Half time whistle has been blown, and it's uh, a 1 1 tie between uh, Gillingham and uh, Dagenham and Redbridge. So, yeah, people, um, make sure to, um, like I said, smash the likes and um, welcome everyone here. Um, but, yeah, um, yeah, big up, Joseph. Absolutely. Um, no, it's. Um, it's pretty cool, man, because I've heard that Newcastle has a great um, – some people dispute, some football fans dispute whether Newcastle actually have a good um, fan base in terms of, um, you know, in the U.K., outside of Newcastle. I know that, you know, in Newcastle, there's only one club to support, really. There's only one. Everyone supports Newcastle and Newcastle, um, you know, but – the reach outside of Newcastle is underrated, in my opinion. I mean, we got Joseph here, who's a fan from from England, you know, and he didn't he didn't grow up in the Northeast, but he ended up becoming a Newcastle fan. So, yeah, man, um, that's good stuff. It's good stuff. Newcastle are are are, are, are 
you know, they're a big club. Big club. I like it. But, yeah, um, it's 1-1 at halftime. Matt Robinson with the uh, uh, with the first goal of the game for Dagenham and Redbridge. And then um, Gillingham did respond about, um, what is it, about 11 minutes later from Ekin, uh, Elkan Baggett. Um, and the only yellow card of the game has been shown to um, – and the yellow card of the game has been shown to Gillingham's David Tutanda. As for player performances, um, SofaScore has Baggett as the best rated player. And that's, I, I would tend to agree with that. I mean, he, he, he pretty much, for me, he got into positions, kind of stepped up a bit, kind of similar to Fabian Shark, kind of. Not, not the ability on the ball, just the urgency to get forward, it looks like. So, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, that must have been from earlier in the game. Some uh, absolute hospital pass there from from Gillingham on that on that first thing. Yo, Steve is active. What's up, uh, CFC OG? What's up, man? How you doing? Um, shout out to you, man. What's good? What's good? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, man. Talk to me about Gillingham and Dagenham and Redbridge. Um. And also, Joseph, do you was there ever a game that Newcastle played Gillingham ever? The FA Cup is very silly and funny. Um, what's it called? The FA Cup is very funny and silly at this stage of the tournament. Absolutely, you see some you see some crazy results, absolute crazy results. Wrexham, um, having to play from the play from from before even the first round, they've had to come through bunch of games i think i think three qualifying rounds before the first round so and then they're also killing it in uh the national league i think they're five points up in the in the national league too so uh wrexham are doing things man um and let me check out what, what what's good with dignam and redbridge they're mid table in in the national league fair enough Scunthorpe, Jesus Christ, and Oldham Athletic. Oldham Athletic in the sixth tier. That just don't sound right. Wrexham is being carried by Ryan Reynolds and Rock Ma Rob McElhenney. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. But it's a cool story. Cool story, cool club. Kent used to have a big mining community, so a lot of Geordies came down here to work back in the day. Okay. An old team called Snowden Colliery Welfare used to wear black and white in homage. Nice. Nice story, man. I did not know that about uh, Kent, to be honest. Hell of a comment. You got some You got some brilliant info, Joseph, about Gillingham and the area of Kent and whatnot. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that about the Geordies. Where else did Geordies uh, relocate to? Where else have they ventured about? Uh, so Steve had put the stream to like 30 minutes after this game. Okay. Um, only problem, Seb, with that is I think in the FA Cup, it's 30 minutes extra time and a penalty shootout. I think because we ain't doing, we ain't doing, uh, we're doing re FA Cup does replays at this stage, but not like a replay. Then if it's a draw, another replay, and another, and another. It used to be like that back in the day. But I think nowadays the um, – what's it called? I think it's only just two replays and then a penalty shootout after. I'm not sure. Who's winning the second half in your opinion? To be honest, man, I'm liking how Dagenham and Redbridge are playing, to be honest. They look the more um, prolific team in front of that, more clinical. Um They'll get shots on, in my opinion. Um, I just see it. that's honestly how I, how I see it. I mean, you've got you've got clearly a good game plan going on with um, with their lineup. They only have one CDM. Um, you got one CDM that Dean. Uh, what's his damn name? Dean Hence, Pence Rance. Dean Rance. 
He's been good for them. From what I've seen, Miles Weston as well. Matt Robinson's all right. Um, what else? Mo Sagaf. Junior Marais also has impressed me on the on, on this level. I'm not saying he's a world beater or anything, but he looks a decent player. Um, where's he from, Junior Marais? He's English, 27, 5 foot 8. He's played for St. Mirren, Northampton Town, Peter, Peterborough United, Boreham Wood, Whitehawk. Never heard of them. And I've heard a lot of I've heard about a lot of clubs. Wickham Wanderers, Hendon, Hendon FC. Interesting. I think he's been their most prolific player, uh, Junior Marais. Or, sorry, I got to get a one. Yeah, he's got six goals and 25. Oh, that's, that's with Peter, bro. Jesus. Newcastle played Gillingham away in the EFL Cup in 2014. 2-1, 1-0 thanks to an own goal from an ex-Sunderland player. That's pretty funny. Damn, that's funny. Pretty sure Jordy's worked a lot of places down south. Really good song called I'm, a, I'm Coming Home, which is basically about all the Jordy's going down south for work. There you go. AIK and Friendlies are going to play Bronby, Kolbenhaven, and Brentford in February. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because Sweden, obviously, they're going to wrap up their season soon if they haven't already. No, I don't think Sweden's wrapped up quite yet. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Interesting, yeah. Now, wait, Joseph, when you're saying they all went down south, is that for, like, they would drive or take the train or bus down every single day, like a four-hour drive or whatever the hell that is, every day to go to work, or they would, like, settle down there? Yeah, the what? Yeah, the, yeah. AIK have already finished their season and the cup starts in February. The league's in April. That's okay. That's what I thought. I thought the league already wrapped up. BK Haken, I believe, won the Askvenskin. Askvenskin. I'm probably butchering the name. Sorry, Seb. But yeah, man. It's, uh, it's tricky. We have already finished. Oh, yeah, I already read that comment. Jesus Christ. Um, I wonder if Gillingham do win and they get Leicester, how many, if the attendance would actually go up. I know the Leicester away end would probably sell out, albeit that would be kind of a, you know, a longer trip-ish. But just intrigued in, about the whole FA Cup, man. I absolutely, it's it's... One of my favorite forms of watching football, honestly. I just, everything about it, it's just brilliant. Um, non league teams playing league teams and whatnot. The Stockport game last night was um, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see um, Stockport come back in that game. They beat, um, you know, Charlton Athletic 3 1, I think. Drew a penalty late. And uh, and whatnot, but yeah, just a really really cool competition. Honestly, I wish they had something like that in the U.S. Stockport got a hell of a following, actually, for the size I thought it was. Damn, bro. Yeah, they won three one. That's right. I think it was more of a semi permanent thing. Worth looking up the story of the Newcastle team photographer. Basically invented the windshield wiper. Wow. Whilst driving back home from an away game. I will have to look that up. Wow. That's incredible. There you are. There you are. We fucking Newcastle. Someone from Newcastle invented the goddamn windshield wiper. That's incredible, man. Um, but yeah, you know what we'll actually do, people. You know what we'll do while the uh, halftime is is still going on. 
It is Gillingham uh, one. Uh, Dagenham and Redbridge won at halftime. But uh, I'll just share the screen with you guys real quick just to, you know, talk about some of these ties. Very intriguing. Um, the Man United Everton won all Premier League clash in that. That could be interesting, I guess. I'd probably go Man United in that, but you never know. Preston Huddersfield, that's a championship one. Again, not much intriguing, but it is a 730 kickoff, so I'll watch it. All these games are going to be on ESPN Plus for me, too. But to be honest, the game that intrigues me the most, if, if I the one main game I'm probably going to end up watching is maybe Tottenham Portsmouth, Reading Watford All Championship game, Palace Southampton. That could be okay, I guess. I'll probably watch the Gillingham or whoever it is versus Leicester City. I'll probably, I'll probably play a 730 game I watch. Uh, mainly watch on because I'll be watching all these games. So I could watch one on my phone. I got two laptops, three TVs. Maybe even sneak in another TV because at Walmart they sell them for mad cheap. But yeah, that the Tottenham Portsmouth will also be kind of interesting. See if if uh, Portsmouth can pull off something crazy. Champion, uh, sorry, not a championship clash because. Uh, Fulham, obviously, in the Premier League, going away to Hull City. Middlesbrough and, and uh, Brighton. I'd expect Brighton to probably win that, too, because um, Brighton are actually a lot better, to be to be honest. They're a lot better at um, away from home, for whatever reason. Fleetwood QPR could be a cup set there. Bournemouth Burnley. Oh, that's actually going to low-key. Gonna be a great game because both of them teams play some all right football. To be honest, I, th I think that could be decent. You know, Blackpool against Nottingham Forest again, another intriguing one. Um, Ipswich Rotherham Town, there you go. Chesterfield and West Brom, I believe Chesterfield are non-league, if I'm not mistaken, fifth division of English football. Why doesn't it show me the standings? Aye, aye, they are. They are, uh, what's it called? They are non-league. Um, Chesterfield. Okay, so you're taking on championship side. West Brom could be an upset, cup set. Millwall, Sheffield United. All right, fair enough. Shrewsbury, Sunderland. Fucking hell. Come on, Shrewsbury. Get in the fucking Mackham cunts. And then the 1230 games. Or, yeah, Borum. Brumwood, Eckington, Stanley. That could be another cup set on the cards. Brentford, West Ham. Oh, Jesus. Turned my light to a different uh, setting. Hold on. Now I got to fucking fix it. Color mode. That looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, let me get these back up on the screen, people. Um, let's see, where the hell was the thing? Oh, yeah, it was shared out here. Yep. Yeah, Shrewsbury, Sunderland, 10 a.m. Brentford, West Ham, that'll be a decent game. I'd probably take Brentford in that, given West Ham's kind of sketchy form. Grimsby Town, Burton, Albion, that could be another cup set. Grimsby, I believe, again, non-league. Sheffield Wednesday, Newcastle. Let's fucking do it. I'm excited for that game. Absolutely love FA Cup, man. Oh, my God. But how are... Uh, Sheffield Wednesday getting on. And, uh, Jesus Christ. Why can't I look at what, what's going on with Sheffield United? They play in fucking League One, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's not that fucking crazy to, uh, have that there. I don't, I don't get it, bro. How are Sheffield United doing? When, uh, Wednesday, Newcastle, tough one. It could be a tough one, yeah, at, um, what's it called? What's their stadium called, dude? Fucking hell. Hillsborough. Yep. Hillsborough's Sheffield uh, Wednesday Stadium. So, yeah, we'll be away to there. Luton Town, Wigan Athletic. I'd probably take Luton in that. Coventry City. Wrexham, I'll definitely be watching that game. Very intrigued to see how Wrexham do. Um, this should be an intriguing one. And the Coupe de France is also on the same weekend as the FA Cup. We are going to kick off the second half, people, so I'll close out of this in a minute. 
Liverpool Wolves should be a Liverpool win. Wolves can't score at all. January 8th, 2 7 30 a.m. games, Derby County and Barnsley. As John uh, Johnny likes to say, Bristol City and Swansea City. Cardiff City leads. That's an interesting one. And a shot on goal immediately from Gillingham and a save from their keeper. Stockport County versus Walsall. All right. Hartlepool versus Stoke City. Norwich City, Blackburn Rovers, Aston Villa, Stevenage. And Aston Villa must be happy about that. Man City, Chelsea. Good news for pretty much anyone else. Um, and then Oxford United Arsenal on the Monday. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. But yeah, no, that's uh that's the FA Cup for you. I can see some prime clubs going out. I guarantee at least three will lose. Well, actually, yes, I can guarantee it because Man United play Everton. Chelsea play Man City, so obviously they both can't advance. They're playing each other, for God's sake. And then there's going to be a cup set. So I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you at least three Prem clubs won't be moving on. Guarantee it. Because there will be a cup set. There will be of a big Premier League side losing. Who knows? Newcastle could be the victim against uh, Sheffield Wednesday. Portsmouth could lose to Tottenham. Uh, Hull City could maybe beat Fulham. And and also another all-Premier League tie in the FA Cup, Crystal Palace and Southampton. So there actually is guaranteed three Premier League clubs are going out. Brighton could lose to Middlesbrough. I, I doubt it, personally. Bournemouth uh, could get upset by Burnley, absolutely. That's a pretty even game. Pretty even game considering the, ball, the football that uh, Burnley's been playing under uh, Bits and Company. And then another all Premier League tie, Brentford West Ham. So they're already four. And then Liverpool Wolves, that's five. So a quarter of the Premier League is getting knocked out. Um, yeah, a quarter of the Premier League teams are getting knocked out. Um, what's it called? They're getting knocked out of the FA Cup guaranteed and then there's gonna be one or two cup sets so that's good news that's good news on a newcastle front hopefully a lot of the premier league big boys especially get knocked out um i'd prefer everton to win i'd prefer portsmouth to beat spurs i would prefer cardiff beat leeds i would prefer if you know um either one of these teams beat leicester at home uh, between Dagenham and Redbridge and um, Gillingham. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting stuff, people. Um, but, yeah. Chelsea, Man City, exactly. So, one of the top six are getting guaranteed eliminated. I got to update this, by the way. It's, it's the second half of Gillingham. This is Dagenham and Redbridge. Second half, second half, second half, second half. Okay. Four people watching. Thank you very much. Do you have a local MLS team out of interest? Um, I kind of prefer Inter Miami um, due to the whole GTA Vice City vibe they have. Yes, uh, Mon uh, Montreal Impact or CF Montreal as they're now called. At least our club logo got updated. Um, but yeah, I support Montreal. That's who I support. I live about four hours away. Um because I live in New Hampshire, and then, um, yeah, so that's uh, that's my MLS side for you, Joseph. Um, but nice pick with Inter Miami. I have an Inter Miami kit, actually, um, from the inaugural season. I found it at a Coles for really, really cheap. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I agree with you. The whole Vice City theme, the black and pink, and then they've got pink shirts too. It's it's a nice color scheme. Um, and they're slowly getting better and better. They are slowly but surely. Um, but yeah. No, Joseph, are you interested in MLS? Like, do you watch the games when they're on at a reasonable time in the UK? Because um, I know that it's becoming, a, you know, people are starting to notice it a little more. I don't think it's the best or anything like that. Not saying that, but it's an all right league, I guess. 
nothing, nothing amazing. It is great. Oh, Jordan Green, no foul there. Uh, ref says play on for digging him in Redbridge. I already have that written down. Right, I just gotta change it. Robinson just plays it back to his goalkeeper. I gotta pull up the fucking lineups again. Yeah, pull up the lineups again. So let me go to the side. No, All right, fair enough. Um. Taking in Redbridge, play in. Um, sorry, digging them in Redbridge on the attack again here. Tutonda, though. Yeah, let's see here. Huh. <sighs> Chatting with the ref, one of the Gillingham players for some reason. Anyways, Dagenham, quick turnover there. Uh, we have pretty decent coverage over here made, uh, of Major League Soccer. Um, some people are really snobby about it due to obviously us, call, you know, Americans calling it soccer. Um, over the whole calling and soccer thing, but the fan culture looks absolutely great. Yeah, some of the some of the MLS fan base are quite decent. Absolutely. Yeah, um, Miami got a great thing going on with with um, you know obviously a lot of the Latin fan base, um, all the banners and stuff all over. It looks it fucking it looks mint to be honest. Is Walker coming in for Jilling? I'm trying to get on the attack, but it is offside. <sighs> yeah, that was, I don't know. Yeah, that was offside. Yeah, that was offside. <laughs> Here's uh, Justin taking the uh, goal kick. Chicago fans are fire, pun intended. Uh yeah, it, and it's interesting because I was born in Chicago, obviously. I like the fire. Um, but, yeah, the interesting thing about Chicago is you got a ton of Polish people, Ukrainians, um, Latin Americans, obviously, you know, people from um, Africa, Asia, the Caribbean. Chicago is a, a major, major international city. Very, very much so an international city, so... Yeah, you get that mix. They have they have some Baras Bravas at, at the Chicago Fire. So yeah. Here's Marias gets it over to Josh Hare. Battle there to try to get possession of the ball. Real physical, physical game. For sure. Trying to play the ball back is a bit risky, but um, Turner deals with it, but it will be still a throw-in for uh, Dagenham and Redbridge. They make their first substitution of the night. It looks like um, Elliot Johnson is coming off for George Saunders, the number 14. Someone's got to change the font on the fucking scoreboard. Or sorry, not the font, the color of it. It's blue. It, it, it's a blue font, and then it's red. And it's just together. It's like it's, it's, it's unreadable. I had to squint to see the 14. But yeah, here is uh, Mo Sagaf over. Nice physical battle there again. 
And a foul go in the way of Gillingham. Yep, so Elliot Johnson gets uh, subbed off, like I said. Um, have they changed it yet? God damn it, I already forgot. Yeah, George Saunders. George Saunders is the player I got subbed off. And Dangham and Redbridge almost get the break on there, but nice defending, just plays it back to Turner. Digging him on that offside, but Reeves doesn't care for drilling him, and he eventually does blow the whistle for offside again for the second time for drilling him. Looks like they're utilizing that high press pretty well, to be honest, man. Pretty back and forth second half so far, 10 minutes in to the second half. Uh, Joseph Steed, interesting comment here about uh, Montreal. Does the whole French-English divide in Quebec uh, work its way into the Impact fan base much? He doesn't know much about the Impact fan culture. No, it doesn't. No. If you speak English, I, I've gone to many, many Impact games, about five or six. I've sp spoken to English, and there wasn't any you know, problems or hostilities or anything. Um, a lot of people there speak French and English. Um so, yeah, no, nothing, uh, nothing crazy there. I, it to me, it's one of the, you know, the better fan bases in, in in Major League Soccer. Absolutely love Montreal. Absolutely loved it. It's my first ever game that I went to as well. Any football match, any league. So, really, really, um, huge, huge fan of uh, Montreal. I've, I've been supporting them for about, I don't know, seven years. Yeah, well, it's 2023, about seven years of my first game. Saw Didier Drogba play from uh, the Impact. Hey, Matt's channel. What's up, man? Uh, didn't expect you to stream this game. Hey, absolutely, man. Bro, FA Cup. If you tell me there's an FA Cup game live on right now, I don't really give a fuck who's playing. FA Cup is FA Cup. is royalty, my friend. And same thing with um, same thing with any uh, cup match. Really, Coupe de France. I'll watch any game. It could be Chateauroux versus Montpellier. I, I would watch that. Do a live stream of it if I wanted. I was gonna do Stockport versus Charlton yesterday, but I I, I forgot to do the thumbnail and everything. What? Holy shit! That looks cold. The pitch. They're showing a shot of the pitch, and it's fucking frozen. Some of it on the little trickles. But yeah, Matt. You give me a game to stream and I'll stream it. As long as it doesn't as long as Newcastle ain't on, then I'll stream it, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Big fan of the FA Cup. Huge fan. Probably a bigger fan than some English people. Some pe some English people talk absolute shite about the FA Cup. Say that it doesn't matter and their you know their clubs have more interesting you know, interesting cup competitions. Spurs fans, I've heard Spurs fans say, it's, it's like, bro, how about you win a trophy first? God damn, it's the FA Cup, for fuck's sake. It's the most famous cup competition in the world. In the world of football. Domestic club com competition. But it, honestly, one of the more famous cup competitions. Even if you throw in the Champions League, which is a, a cup cup. A, a cup competition in the world cup it's in that bracket of loyalty and of royalty and history and prestige and the uh, madness of it all brilliant honestly here's hair long ball tries to find one of dignam space good stuff there good interchange ball into the box good defending there dana rubbridge really on the attack now And Junior Marais tries to get a shot off. Yeah, good delivery in from uh, George Saunders over to um, Junior Marais to get that shot off. Here's Matt Robinson, the goal scorer on the ball now. Gets picked up. That'll be a foul. Easy. On uh, Gillingham. 
Is that going to be a yellow? Yeah. Pretty simple challenge that. Or a simple yellow card, sorry, for a, for a you know, that challenge. You tripped them up. You're going to get booked. Pretty easy. And George Saunders over the ball now. It's five fouls to four in the in fa not in favor of the advantage. It's five four Gillingham. Ball in from Saunders gets uh, cleared out. Here's Mo Sagaf tracking back, plays it just easily back to Elliot Justum. Justum with the essentially a goal kick just clears it out, headed out by Max Emmer. Mo Sagaf plays it out, Gillingham on the ropes a little bit here, digging him in Redbridge, putting on some serious pressure. Uh, Neil Harris is a good manager. Um, but the problem is he hasn't revamped the squad properly in the chance to in the same way Joey Barton did last season. Yeah, Jill, the Gillingham manager, I believe. Also love the FA Cup, but um, yeah, fair enough, Matt. I'll trust you on that. I didn't know jack shit about Gillingham before today, if I'm honest. Knew a tiny bit. None of the players or manager or anything. Yeah, um, also love uh, Joseph with the comment here. Also love the FA Cup. I kind of like the idea in Germany of the regions having their own cups and getting a buy into the first round if they win. All English counties have their own cups, so it could work. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Absolutely. And the same thing goes for the, the Coupe de France. Uh, they don't have that cup winning model. It's just everyone plays everyone from a fucking massive pool of, I believe, around 8,000 teams in the Coupe de France including teams from Martinique. I don't know why I'm blanking on other overseas French territories. Um, fucking hell. Martinique, Mayouette. Uh, what's another one? There's, an, there's, there's a few more islands in there from France. Not Suriname. Mayoet, Martinique, there's a few more. I'm forgetting them. But, yeah, there are 8,000 teams competing in the Coupe de France. Absolute madness. But, yeah, you're right. In Germany, it's the local region, so the Bayern region, or Bavaria, as you say in England. You have the Hamburg and um, Hamburg region. They've um, Baden-Württemberg. It's another region of Germany. You've got... Um, Sisheim. Shot off and taking him not that far. Fun fact, Gillingham lost the promotion final at Wembley against Manchester City in 99. City got promoted inside of the Gills. If Gills won that match, J Gillingham was Saudi owners? You never know. You never know, man. That would be fucking crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're right. I remember, yeah, it was when Man City had those Kappa shirts. The, the fucking beautiful shirt. Oh, my God. Absolutely immense. Really, really nice shirt. Uh, Max Emmer is a shit defender. He is one of a number of reasons we went down in 2020-21. Yeah, he hasn't really impressed me. He looks okay, but I'll take your word for it that he's actually shite. I mean, if you're playing for Gillingham, you probably aren't that great. I, all teams in England, should definitely have the chance to qualify. Um, but buys into the first round could help build interest in the county cups that no one cares about at the moment. Absolutely agree. Absolutely. 100% agreed with you. And you know what another thing the FA Cup should do? Is Gillingham on the attack here? Oh, what was that? That offside? Gillingham, absolutely. And again, another offside. Was that Cashkit? That was that guy's name. Oh, yeah, offside. Oh, yeah. You know, another thing that would make the FA Cup a hell of a lot more, um, you know, where, where people would just shut the hell up about its insignificance, even though that's bullshit. But even if, here's a suggestion I think that would be brilliant for the FA Cup. If you win the FA Cup, you get a Champions League group stage berth. Bam. There you go. Because that's all anybody gives a fuck nowadays about. 
these top six clubs f- f- frothing at the mouth over over a top four spot. Fucking pathetic. Directly from Brazil, Brazil rooting for Gillingham. Ah, oh, Vinicius, big up to you, bro. Hey, I got something for you, Vinicius. I got something. I got something to show you. Give me two seconds to find it. I got to turn off the, the blue light because it looks like fucking weird. There you go, man. Look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? Very, very nice. Seven people watching. Thank you all very much for watching. It is um, still Gillingham 1. Dignam and Redbridge 1. Second half. Given Harris' uh, speech about his transfers at the end of last season, I thought Emmer would have been one of the ones to go out. Yeah, exactly. Gills are actually on the verge of a takeover from U.S. businessmen. Their Paul, their current owner, Paul Scaly, is really disliked by uh, most of the fan of the Gillingham fan base at the moment. He bought the club for a pound and saved them from going bust. Wow. I'm assuming, Joseph, that they dislike him, not for obviously saving the club and whatnot, but not uh, financing correctly and not investing enough money maybe in the stadium or something like that. Maybe you got more info on that. Ronaldo, the phenomenon. Yes, absolutely, man. No, absolutely a fucking wonderful, wonderful shirt. Oh, my God. Does that make it look better? Yeah, no, absolutely just. And you know what? These shirts are so comfortable, too. So, so comfortable. Oh, my God. Um, but yeah, I'll go back into my blue mode. I think it looks cool. But Yeah, man. When Harris tried to keep, yeah. When Gillingham, or sorry, when Neil Harris tried to keep Gillingham last season, played a back five in Emmer, Emmer. Pronounced that way, it was benched. Interesting. Yeah, and he's playing in a back four today for Gillingham. Interesting. Yeah, they seem like the team to play a back five because they kind of been more defensive, but they have actually turned it on a little bit offensively this half. Um. So yeah, it's a very it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a uh, you know a contested. A highly contested game, this, honestly. It, it, you know, no team looks absolutely dominant over the other. Dignam did look better, in my opinion, though. He's Junior Marais. Gets it to Matt Robinson. Marais draws a foul there. Nope. Play on, says the ref. Come on, you doggers. Doggers uh, Dignam. I'm assuming a nickname for them. Hey, Oris Talks Football. What's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for coming and checking out the live show of Gillingham versus Dickenham and Redbridge. Yeah, um, thanks for thanks for uh, dropping by, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, make sure to hit the like button. All that good stuff, people. Nine people watching. So I want to see all nine of you smash that fucking like button. Absolutely. Um, let me check out how many likes we got right now. Let me check it out, man. Um, we got three likes on NFTV Extra. And then how much do we have on uh, my channel, uh, Scusbook Steve? Let's check that out. I know I'll get to your comment in one minute there. No, two comments coming in. Nice. The owner lives in Dubai and doesn't put a lot of money in the club. Most things are done on the cheap. Oh, damn. That sucks. Tutondo was with us two seasons ago, too. Yeah, Tutondo looks okay, I guess. Left back. Is that right, I guess? Jesus. Two likes on the other one. Oh, come on, people. You got to do better than that. Four watching, though. Eight people watching. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, smash the like button, people. Get your comments down below. Get your comments on. Weston Baldwin, it gets cleared, actually. Still 1-1. One, one. Oop, sloppy there from uh, Dagenham. 
Gillingham on the attack now. Ball in. Cross. Low driven. Not very threatening at all. Easily claimed by Justum. Elliot Justum, the uh, Dagenham and Redbridge goalkeeper. Fuck you, ESPN. Why are you glitching out on me? On this important moment in this important game. Jesus Christ, pricks. Fucking dafties. Come on. Stop dicking around. I really like Dagenham's logo, by the way. That's really, really cool logo. All the all the elements to it. And I like Gillingham's too, the horse or whatever that is. Cool logo. It's a cool stereotypically English logo. Just looks looks hella nice if I'm honest. Any any Norwegian shirts back there? No. But I am going to buy a SK Braun shirt soon. Oh, and here's a chance actually jilling him on the break. And it's a goal for Gillingham, but it's offside again. Four offsides on Gillingham. This half alone as um is that is that Walker? I forget. Is that the center for striker's name? What the hell is his name? Yeah, Lewis Walker. Offside. Wow. Wow. Neil Harris got Millwall the championship in his first shot. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know that. But no, Bjorn, sadly, no Norwegian shirts. I've got shirts, though, from one from Sweden. I forget which club it is. I have I have a FC Copenhagen shirt as well. Um. Trying to think, man. What's the Swedish shirt called? It's on my Instagram. Harstad IL. It's a Swedish like third or fourth division team. Um, yeah, that's an Adidas kit I have. It's called Harstad. I have a Kobenhaven shirt. I'll just you know what I'll do, bro? I'll just fucking share my screen to Instagram. Just go on Instagram and fuck. All right, let's see. Random fact uh, from Joseph State again with some nice info. A random fact, when the Millennium Dome became the O2 Arena, he bought a load of stuff from it back in 2001. Most bins at the ground are from the old Millennium Dome near Charlton Athletic. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Yep, so I was receiving cans. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let me share my screen for you. Yeah, Bjorn, check out. Um, Here's what I've got for my collection. Here's what I got. So, obviously, this is the shirt I got on now, the 0304 RKC Valvik. Bunch of Newcastle shirts, Rangers shirt, um, Spartak Moscow, a Schalke shirt, another Newcastle one, a Benfica. Fika one, Strasbourg, the club, French club I support, my favorite club. Um, another Newcastle one, this shirt right over here. Um, Trabs on Spore, Harstad IL. This is so. This is a Swedish. I know it's not Norwegian, but it's a Swedish one. Um, really nice shirt, to be honest. Really nice. I'm not liking my own stuff like that. Trabs on Spore, another Newcastle one, a very rare Newcastle one. Adana Demir Spore, Schalke, Brazil, Real Madrid, Newcastle, Strasbourg, Olympique Lyonnais, Copenhagen. Again, this is it's not Sweden, but it's it's Denmark. And again, oh on the attack west. Oh, that was horrible finishing there from uh from Gillingham, but as the announcer just said, this is better from Gillingham, to be fair. They're getting on the attack. This is one of my favorite shirts, too, on my days. Ugh. Class. Utter class shirt. The 125 years ones are just fucking brilliant. Seriously, man. Union Berlin, Rapid Vienne, Hellas Verona, Shakhtar, Stad Brest, Napoli, New England Revolution, my local club, Newcastle, Wellington Phoenix. 
um, Jamaica, Montreal Impact, Lons, Slavia Praha, Juvent, uh, sorry, Lazio, Newcastle, Bayern, USA. And I still got to post a bunch. Still got a bunch to post. Harstad is, is Norwegian, though. Is it? Yo, Harstad IL, is it Norwegian? Thank you, by the way, Bjorn. I appreciate it. Yeah, nice kiss. Thank you, man. That's at Alkmaar, Bayern, San Jose Earthquakes, Valletta FC from Malta. Harstad IL is Swedish. Is it not? Is it Norwegian? Joeing him on the attack again. Oh, and it's wide. Seriously, man? This is this is a Norwegian club? Harstad IL? Is it? Harstad is Norwegian, though. Okay, hey, hold on. Maybe there's two Harstads. Harstad IL. Would you look at fucking that? It is. It is Norwegian. Why did I think it was fucking... Why did I think it was Swedish? Why in the hell did I think it was Swedish, dude? And they're going for Gillingham. And it looks like that could be the winner as Gillingham score to make it 2-1 to one over Dagenham and Redbridge, a non-league side. Bummer for um, Dagenham and Redbridge. But Gillingham, their fans look pretty happy. Halmstad is Swedish. Harstad. Okay. All right. I, fair enough, man. Okay, now I have to go to, uh, I have to edit that then. Jesus Christ. Damn, man. I didn't know that. See, you do learn something every single day. You do. You do. But yeah, Norge. It's not Sverge. It's Norge, Norway. <laughs> now. So yeah, Harstad IL. It is it's Norwegian, man. I did not know that. I just always thought it was Swedish for some reason. So yeah, Norway. But yeah. Got most of the uh things down. How full is it looking? Wait, what do you mean full? My closet? Are you, are you referencing Joseph's comment? Yes, it is. Two to one, Gillingham over Dagenham and Redbridge. They might have completed a comeback, um, Gillingham, somehow. Even though they've barely scored any goals in League Two. But hey, there you go. Credit to Gillingham. They could be the ones facing uh, Leicester City at home uh, shortly. So. Yeah, there you go, man. How full is it all with the fans? Um, not that full, to be honest. Probably like... If you're talking whole stadium, probably 20%. Yeah, I'd say 20% on that. A straight red for Dagenham and Redbridge, and that pretty much, uh, you would think, kills off any... Hopes and dreams that um, Dayum and Rebridge have had as Lewis Walker was fouled very harshly from the Dayum and Rebridge player. Um, he's down and out, bro. That's uh, no complaints either from the Dayum player. None at all. Um, and looking back on that challenge, yep, that's no question about that. Absolutely a red card. Um, two players gone for the ball. Clearly, Lewis Walker kicks it away. But uh, Matt Robinson, I believe. Is that Matt Robinson? No, sorry. Harry Phipps, the uh, center back, just fucking booted him in the in the leg. That's, uh, that's going to be a red card every time, buddy. Uh, not smart from Dagenham and Red Bridge's uh, defender there. Jesus. And you see, that's that's the fucking problem, man. If you do stupid shit like that, then 
you're just gonna get fucked over, bro. You're just gonna do you do yourself no services when you do dumb shit like that. Honestly, bro. Why can't I edit the fucking title of the video? I don't care if it's started already. No shit, it's started already. Bro, that's so annoying. Do you watch DNQ football? What's that mean? And yes, Dagenham and Redbridge have brought a good following. Yeah. Seems like it. Seems like their away end was mostly sold out. Uh, yeah, what is DNQ football? Enlighten me, Matt. I don't uh, know what that is, to be honest. Never. I don't think I've heard of it. I could, I could be wrong, though, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's a real it's a sucker punch for, for Dagenham and Redbridge, really. Because um, uh, if it's only two to one down, it's like, why would you go... Fucking, why, why would you do that, man? That's 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 goofy shit. That's just not smart, if I'm honest. It's really stupid. But his life, not mine. You know. But maybe digging him in Redbridge still have a shot. It's only one goal. It's only one goal. You don't want to be complacent if you are um, digging him in Redbridge. Absolutely not. So yeah, man. Um Yeah. Uh, about what? Ten minutes and then uh, be some added time on. But digging him and Redbridge actually on the attack here. Is a ball in, a threatening ball in. And another foul. Dagan them foul have fouled another player. I don't think as uh, harshly, obviously, as the other, as the red card incident. Not nearly, obviously. DNQ Football is a YouTube football channel that covers the Minnow Nations. Oh, I'll have to check it out then because I'm a huge fan of that kind of stuff. Absolutely huge fan. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 2,000-something subscribers. Oh, that's pretty cool. AFF Mitsubishi thing. Uh-oh! And Dagenham and Redbridge have scored! They scored a goal! Even though they're down a man, it's 2-2! It's 2-2, people! And a horrible mistake from Gillingham. An absolutely atrocious piece of self-inflicted just stupidity put upon themselves. Wow! Dagenham and Redbridge have equalized. It's 2-2! What an absolutely stunning turn of events. A hospital pass. Oh, my word. What an uh, absolutely shambolic piece, uh, a piece of defending. He heads it right to... Uh, I think that's George Saunders, yeah? What an absolute shambles this is from a Gillingham perspective. And Dagenham and Redbridge from out of absolutely nowhere, from, from, from a point that you would think the game is nearly done and dusted. No, 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 no. Not so fast. Unbelievable. You got to love football, man. We got a decent, and you know, it has been a decent game, man. It's been a decent game. So, um, very impressed. Very impressed with um, with uh, 
impressed with what's his sorry uh what's it fucking called um with uh digging them in redbridge their resolve was literally just planning <laughs> just planning my trip down the road to watch Gillingham versus Leicester. Not so sure now. You know, you can never be sure, man. Oh, you would go to that game? That's pretty cool, man. How far do you live from the stadium, Joseph? From uh, the, what is it, the Priest Field Stadium, I think it's called? Priest Field? How far do you live from there, bro? Is it like a 10-minute drive or something? Five? In Kent? Wow, absolutely shocking. Yeah, four people watching. Smash the likes. Smash the likes, people. Let's go. I'm telling all the group chat they're missing out on a good game. The NFTV crew, bro. I'm telling you, they're missing out on a good game. I'm telling you. Good game between Jill and Young. Wow. Yeah, nice, uh, nice story. If Dagenham and Redbridge can somehow, some way, get this over the line. Oh, you live forty minutes away. Train ride from uh, Gillingham. Okay, fair enough. A ball in, dangerous, but Junior Morais doing a lot of tracking back and dirty work. He's he looks like a complete player. And nearly a mistake there from Gillingham defensively to turn it over again in such a crucial part of the field. I think that's honestly the way to exploit Gillingham from what I've seen is if you force a mistake at the back, you could get in. And that's what Dagenham might have done. It goes in that shirt. Is that a pen? Junior Marais thinks it might have been a pen. And I, I honestly, from that first look, I think it might have been two. What the hell are Gillingham doing here? I'd have to look at that on replay. That looked a bit suspicious. Be careful. Gillingham, they force a, a turnover in the halfway uh, halfway line. Ooh. Is Matonda gets it over to Donalds. Is a shot. Ooh, low driven cross in, and it doesn't get anywhere. I forget if it's going to be penalties or extra time. I wouldn't mind either, to be honest. I'd probably rather see the thirty minutes because that team's got you know these guys might have some more goals in them. I like goals, but I like a good penalty shootout as well. Oh yeah, never mind. Junior Marais, yeah, that was no, that wasn't a penalty. He, yeah, no, he before the foul even happened, he was looking his body. He was already leaned down a bit, so I think he was looking for it there. But regardless of that, taking him in Redbridge, honestly, they haven't looked like they've gone down to ten men. It's unbelievable, honestly. Seriously, these 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 guys, taking him in Redbridge, they got some fight in them. My word. If I didn't tell you they were down to 10 men, you probably wouldn't have noticed. Um, intriguing game here between the two sides. Uh, one of the best games I went to, as far as atmosphere-wise, was Millwall knocking out then-champions of Leicester um, uh, in the FA Cup at the Den. Absolute limbs in Claudio, um, yeah, Claudio's last game with Leicester in England. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember watching that game too. Crazy, yeah. Millwall for me, bro. They got a they got a hell of an atmosphere. I know they've got some bad apples, but what fan base doesn't? To be honest, what fan base has squeaky clean fans across the board? Don't exist. It doesn't exist in football. 
or in any 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 walk of life, any fandom of anything, you're gonna have horrible people associate themselves with it. They do things you disagree with. It this is the nature of life. It's a corner though for red. Oh, digging them. Matonda trying to clear, and he gives it away too easily. Great work defensively, digging on Redbridge. Again, Marais getting involved. This guy is hungry, very hungry. He has a he has a he has a real appetite to get his get it get you know get get some possession. Sloppy turnover again from Gillingham. These guys cannot, for the life of them, have any consistency on the ball. Really poor. And you gotta love the endeavor and the spirit of what of, of what uh Dignam and Rubbridge are doing. Like I said, people, it doesn't look like to me that they're down to ten men. Mental. They're five minutes added on, people. Five minutes, so five minutes for Dagenham and Rutbridge to survive. I would actually flip it the other way. There's five minutes for Gillingham to survive. Thirteen attempts on target for Gillingham, six on target, whilst Dagenham and Redbridge have 11, and four of those have been on target. Relatively close numbers. Lee in the in my in the WhatsApp group. That's awesome. Yeah, Lee of of Newcastle Fans TV, my boss. <laughs> Basically, he went out to Riyadh in uh, to Saudi Arabia and he watched uh, Al Hilal play Newcastle United in a friendly. And Newcastle did very well, very very well. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm I'm glad he had a good time. Looks like a fun time out there, but the media will have you thinking otherwise, I guess. But that is what it is, man. There's a corner for Gillingham coming in. Baggett, Emmer, among the few Gillingham bodies willing to put their line on and a good defensive header out. It looks like it'll go out for a corner for Gillingham with about two and a half minutes to go. Uenas, I might be saying the name wrong. Yeah, headed it out very nicely, not not allowing, not taking any chances for a Gillingham player to head it. Oh shit! I gotta change the scoreboard down here. I forgot about that. Oops. Coming on and nothing for Gillingham and Dignam and Rubbish cleared out. Your thoughts on Greg Berhalter after the World Cup, bro? He's not a good manager. He's been subpar with the USMNT. He's achieved what a US manager should be achieving. But the style, nope, not for me. Most crosses in the World Cup, and how many goals do we get? It does the system he plays, the tries to persist with, doesn't work, quite frankly. I think we need to move on. Immediately, I think we should have moved on a while ago, but he's apparently going to be the USMNT manager for years to come. That's fucking cool, I guess. What a nice move there from Dagenham. It'll go off for a corner. For the National League side in mid-table in 12th place. What a move this is on uh, Latomba. Oh, my word. Absolute silk. Absolute filth. Sorry. Very, very nice there from the Gillingham number seven. Or sorry, the Dagenham number seven. Corner coming in. And Gillingham look at to go on the break. Here's Jordan Green. Gillingham have a real chance at this. A ball goes in. It's Green for the winner. And it's Gillingham who have scored. In the 95th minute out of five, 
And Gilliam have won it. They've won it. Over Dagenham and Redbridge. What a finish. What a phenomenal finish from Gillingham. My word. Hakib Adelakun with the goal. Very nice goal. The uh, number 21. Good first touch. A, a, a tiny bit, tiny bit sloppy, but made it work. Still, decent first touch. Played it out, found an outlet. Yeah, good one. Very good. And, you know, for Gillingham's sake, maybe that will get them. Uh, maybe that will get them kind of firing and ready to go after, um, you know, League Two comes around because they don't want to be relegated to the fifth tier at all. And what a celebration, by the way. <sighs> fucking mental. Absolutely fucking mental. Does a front flip, back flip. Fucking crazy. Adelakun with the nice goal there. Is he English or is he um, is English, 26 years old? Man, good finish, man. And, uh, yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Decent game, man. Decent game. As it finishes, not uh, Gillingham, three. Dagenham, Dagenham and Redbridge, two. There you go. There you go. It was a good game. It was a good game, if I'm honest. Um, both teams fought until the absolute bitter end. I have lots of respect for... Um, for digging them and Redbridge fighting and fighting and fighting and trying to make it happen. But honestly, up until the goal, it didn't really cost digging them and Redbridge a great load um, in terms of being down to 10 men because it honestly didn't look like it. It didn't look like that they were down to 10 men, if I'm honest. Um, yeah. Good game. That's what the FA Cup's all about. Um, that's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Good game. Good game. Mass Channel. Which World Cup quarterfinal um, are you most looking forward to? Um, what am I looking forward to? I'm going to go Morocco, Portugal. I'll go Morocco, Portugal. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Anyways, people, thank you very much for watching this FA Cup Watch along with your host, Steve, Newcastle Fans TV. You can go check out my Twitter down there. Go check out more of the, uh, you know, some uh, videos on Strasbourg. Steve, you can check out um, me on Newcastle Fans TV and whatnot. Nah, um, but yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely, Joseph. I uh, wasn't expecting that many goals, to be honest. Good match. Uh, yeah, I yeah, know. It was entertaining. Nice to chat to you. Absolutely, Joseph. Yeah, Joseph, bro. If you have me on Twitter, yeah, you can chat more, talk football. I could have you on the channel, too. Um, I'm always looking for English fans, um, English English tune fans coming onto the channel. After the game, you always have an opportunity on the fan reaction show with, with, with myself. And, uh, you know, a bunch of other people to get their say after every tune game. Um, I stream all of them. I'm assuming ESPN Plus will have the Bournemouth game on TV. Um, on ESPN Plus. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be uh, pretty busy. Be a busy, busy guy um, with Newcastle playing. A lot of games coming up very soon. Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League. We got it all. Got it all covered um, on NFTV Extra as well and uh, Strasbourg Stephen Newcastle Fans TV. So, anyways, thank you guys very much. 
for watching. And before you leave, just hit the like button. Give me some uh, feedback in the comments. How you, what you thought of the game, what you thought of me, whatever the hell you want to comment. Just get your comments and thoughts. Feelings, opinions, perspectives, all that stuff is welcome on the on you know on our channel. So, um, but yeah, absolutely, it was great chatting to you as well, Joseph. Absolutely, man. Have a great evening. Away the fucking lads. Absolutely. And so yeah, it finishes. Gillingham three, Dagenham and Redbridge two, and Gillingham now have a potential giant killing on their hands in the form of Leicester City visiting the Priest Field Stadium in early January. So anyways, take care, people, and I will talk to y'all later and do another live stream sometime soon. Take care, people.